Okay, in this video we're going to talk about anonymous uh, functions. So, suppose I have an equation y is equal to x squared minus 1. Well, I could put that equation in as a function uh, within the MATLAB script using what is called anonymous functions. So I can do that by writing the following code. I could say y is equal to add of x. So this is the function handle at of x. And I'm saying that the function really is x squared minus 1. So if I want to get a value of y when x is 2, I would write y of 2. And when I write that, 2 gets passed in here, so x becomes 2. So I get 2 squared minus 1, which will be 3. So here it is on my um, MATLAB uh, screen. So I can go y is equal to at of x. So x, what I'm changing, I'm saying it's x squared squared minus 1. So that's my function. So if I go y of 2, I'll get 3. And if I go y of 0, so 0 gets passed in. So 0 squared is 0 minus 1 gives me minus 1. Now suppose I want to solve an equation. So let's say it's x squared minus 1 is equal to, to 0. Well, I know that the roots of the equation are x minus 1 and x plus 1. That's just simple maths. But what if the equations were more difficult? Um, is there an MATLAB function to do it? Well, there are actually, well, at least two functions. One is the roots function and one is the f0 function. So let's have a look at those. Okay, to use the roots uh, function, I'll just type roots, open the bracket for the function, close it, and then what is the function? Well, that's a matrix where we put in the values uh, of x. So it's x squared, so it's 1, x squared. And there's 0 x's, and then it's minus 1. So now write that in, I hit enter, I get the roots of the equation are, are minus 1, um, plus 1, which is as we expected. But there are other occasions where we might need to use numerical methods, like the newton raphson method or something like that. Well, they're all encompassed within the f0 uh, uh, function. So if I go f0, and the f0 immediately is looking for the function. Now I can't pass in the function uh, name, which, but I can pass in the function handle. And the handle here is y, because y is equal to add x. So I'll say y. And my initial value, or my initial guess at this solution, so I'm going to guess it's 0. And it's going to come back with a value that will solve that equation, i.e. x squared minus 1 is equal to 0. So what value can I put it in for x that would make that equal to 0? And it gives me a value of minus 1. So that function might be useful in, in some applications. Okay, so that's all I wanted to show, and I hope that's of some use.